Ladies and gentlemen, your best friend. Thank you. Right then. <laughs> this is what going to happen, isn't it? Uh, first of all, I'd like to start off by thanking Dave very much for letting me be the best man today. After knowing Dave for all the years I have, I'm sure that I know Jane will be very, very good for him. Um, in all the years, he's always kept on the right lines. <laughs> Which hasn't been easy, I can assure you. Um, I must say I'm a little surprised at the moment, uh, still, to find a lap like Dave, uh, a little boisterous in his youth, shall we say, uh, to finally settle down with a lovely wife, a home, and not soon in the distant future, I hope that this will pass her a little feet. That's six months, isn't it, John? <laughs> Um, I'd like to say here and there that, uh, as I said, Jan will keep on the right lines. She's had to go through a few erratic times with him, uh, and his friends, unfortunately, like myself. Uh, for instance, I'm sure Jan remember the time that uh, she came home from work to meet Dad and found out that, unfortunately, all his hair had fallen out. Well, that's not quite the truth, that's an excuse. Actually, I cut it all off for him. <laughs> Although she stayed by him, she refused to go to the house for about three or four months. Uh, and what's more surprising than that really is he still chose me to be the best man. <laughs> shot him. I'll just refer to this because now it's really wrong. Um, not forgetting that today, of all days, uh, could not have been possible without the brides and the groom's parents. Before we go to the toast, there's a lot to thank the caterers of the Pentons Hall for a lovely meal and lovely service. I'd like to make my yeah. toast. Yeah. Thank you. I'd like to make my toast to the bride and the groom's parents. You all stand. The parents of the bride and groom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.